a perisac bleed. This is an intrauterine pregnancy of not more than three weeks. This being the gestational sac. This is the gestational sac and this is the yolk sac. Now while scanning this patient, I do came across two cystic areas. This is a right adrenexal cyst bilocculated. As you can see it has two portions. I want to get this with the gestational sac. Yeah, here. Now this is a septa. This is a cyst relating to the right adenexa, measuring 5.3 centimeter into 3.3 centimeter, and uh, this is an ovarian cyst. This one is the ovarian cyst with a thick septa separating the both. This is the thick septa separating the both and it is well demarcated, gives posterior shadowing, posterior aquastic enhancement. This is the uterus in transfer section with this area being the gestational sac. <coughs> in transfer section, this is the urinary bladder. So there is a well demarcated 5.3 into 3.3 centimeter cystic area seen in the region of the right adrenexus giving acoustic enhancement as internal septa complete and thick. This one is a complete septa is thick and there are no calcifications, there is no solid element seen and no debris seen within this cystic area. Now when I move the probe towards the left side I come across another cyst, this cyst. This is yet another cyst but in the left adenexa that measures 2.8 into 2.2 centimeters and uh, this cyst is suggestive of corpus luteum cyst of pregnancy which is a very good sign for the maintenance of pregnancy <coughs> up to 10 weeks after which